hey guys welcome back in today's video we will be covering about salesforce and its integration with mailsoft so what is salesforce salesforce is like a uh, crm solution and uh, it is being it is being uh, referred globally across different organization for different purposes and it gives all of your uh, departments including marketing sales commerce uh, and service a single and shared view for each and every customer so you can maintain all the customer contacts your account details different uh, uh, objects are available within the salesforce and even you can create customized uh, objects as well so when i say objects it is as good as um, uh, the attributes uh, for a particular entity so entity could be a uh, uh, contact and attributes could be like the first name last name email and all other uh, uh, relevant stuff right apart from this uh, salesforce also gives uh, a lot of uh, solutions around sales service marketing commerce uh, developer apps analytics analytics in terms of tableau recent uh, acquisition along with integration from mulesoft side apart from that employee experience um, industry specific solutions partner specific solutions and there are there is a well defined uh, onboarding system as well for the salesforce for your organization to hop on so I am really excited to start with the first video of uh, this integration between Salesforce and MuleSoft. So we will be covering around different aspects of that. But uh, before going into depth of uh, of the same, uh, let's try to understand how to get started. So this is the login.salesforce.com and uh, as you can see there is uh, this is uh, asking for username and password. But in the very end it is giving the option of try for free so if you click on this try for free it will open up uh, this particular page and it is asking for uh, step one two three so there are some couple of uh, information which it will be looking for okay so just put in your uh, all the details you can change it accordingly uh, okay next you can put your phone number and email address uh, you can agree to the master uh, subscription agreement that is msa and click on submit as soon as you click this submit button you will get some couple of emails asking you to activate your account and once it is being activated you should be able to log in uh, to your uh, login uh, to the uh, login.salesforce.com okay so as I was mentioning like there are some objects and you can create uh, custom objects so contacts lead are the objects which are uh, readily available uh, with the default settings so just to give you an uh, give you an idea about it if you locate this particular um, URL this is getting uh, 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 changed right we started with login.salesforce.com but now it is pointing us towards a particular geography ap5 asia pacific and then lightning.force.com and uh, here you can click on the avatar and you can see all the um, details like you can switch to the different name you can add the username as well if you are not add, uh, adding any username your default email address will be the username I have clicked on this contacts and as of now I am able to see 20 records. So for for the very beginners I must say uh, this particular uh, record will result in a or can be visualized in terms of a database. So whenever we make a query on this particular contact uh, contacts uh, table it will give us 20 odd results. Of course uh, you can import and you can add some new users as well but to, just to start with uh, this is the uh, bare minimum and it will it will show around 20 records when we make a query around it so this was pretty much on to the uh, salesforce side now let's jump to the anypoint studio so this is my anypoint studio and this is 7.7 .7, mule 4.3.0 runtime i am using 
and this is my domain domain project so uh, I am going to the domain project and uh, I will let you know about the configuration so how to get started from this particular page uh, click on manage modules and uh, click on this plus sign from exchange search with Salesforce So you can see a lot many uh, uh, connectors are available with respect to Salesforce but uh, we will keep our uh, discussion very specific so we will be using the very first one so just click on this and click on the uh, add button it will it will come up over here and uh, just click on finish apart from that there are many other details as well available as you can see some accelerator for odata system api experience apis all many uh, reml definitions are coming up so uh, we will not be going into that in depth of each and every uh, connector uh, so i will be covering main on the salesforce connector that is the basic one i will uh, just click on this finish and we are uh, good with that so after that just click on create button and look out for salesforce if it is appearing uh, so here it goes click on ok and under the connection you can see couple of options like basic auth which we will be covering right away and after that we will be covering over 2.0 jwt username password and all the other options right so just select this one and we need to fill up all these details so I have already configured let me show you that one it will be easy to understand so this is the username this username is same as your uh, email id or the username which you have created on the login.salesforce.com and the password is the same as of now i am picking up the uh, specific uh, password and token from um, from the property file which i have already configured in order to understand how to configure the property files and how to uh, make them secure uh, refer my previous uh, videos and the sfdc url so let me show you the values of these particular things okay so this is the connection uh, common properties and sfdc username you can see this is the email id this is the login.salesforce.com services soap 49.0 that is the version of it and it will it will by default it will come as well uh, if you configure a new connection but it will be in in the in a in a different format so you have to write it uh, let me show you what i'm trying to say so i'm just clicking over here and uh, here you can see this services so uh, as of now 50 is available but 49 is also backward compatible but basically i am i'm picking up this thing into a uh, common properties file okay now apart from that uh, this is the security token so let me explain you from where you can get the security token so if you click over here maybe go to the settings and here you go the this particular thing reset your security token so in order to check what is your security token you have to click on this and a email will be uh, sent to your uh, configured email id and you can make use of that as of now uh, all all uh, setup is already done for uh, my uh, use case so i will not be clicking on this but uh, this is pretty much simple just click on this and it will shoot a particular email on your mail id that's pretty much of it and this is the password i have uh, i have make it um, in a secured format so that's why you are seeing this value but this is a specific uh, whatever value you are setting on the login page itself during the uh, registration so this was about it and if i click on this uh, salesforce basic auth uh, i should be able to establish a connection It will take couple of seconds to load but i'm optimistic like everything is correctly set so as you can see test connection successful i will click on ok click on ok and just to save the time i have already created a sample project and i have set the domain from default to this particular domain project so how to do that mule project in the drop down just select this domain project like likewise this one 
so in your case it could be a different name but uh, it will remain like that only so let me show you the configuration for the basic auth i will be using the same uh, uh, use case for the different um, way of getting connected to the salesforce so there is a listener which is a get operation and it will be putting a hit on sf query endpoint after that there is a logger now how to get this salesforce query simple uh, just click on this search in exchange look out for salesforce just select this one put it on the add and click on finish that's pretty much of it since i have already done it i will not be repeating the same so after doing that it will it will come up like this and lot many details will come up like this okay i have simply uh, dragged and dropped this query over the canvas and it appeared like that and since i have used this uh, domainized project so uh, if i click on the plus sign uh, it was already giving me the option of setting up the uh, basic uh, uh, auth configuration so let me show you again uh, it is pointing towards on the domain project only okay which we have already uh, already seen that and this is about the salesforce uh, query that is the salutation name email title phone fax department from which table from the contact table you can you can uh, try to understand like this query is quite similar to what we have in the sql side as well so you can make uh, some um, different customization to it like uh, put a where condition and putting that value from the parameters uh, in order to uh, in order to achieve that uh, if you want to have a look you can refer to some of my previous video in which i have showcased like how to connect to a uh, mysql database it is uh, also referring the customized query parameters from which this where condition can be fulfilled okay so after that i have put down a transform message basically just to uh, create a uh, more user friendly data because the output of query will be an object format so i am basically converting it using the map operator okay and it, it will be having a salutation like uh, putting some um, mr mrs something like that then the title department email and um, fax and all the things after that finally there is a logger and which is printing all the payload so this was pretty much about the basic auth flow let's try to run it without any further ado so it will take some time so in the meanwhile it's a good thing like uh, our postman it will also take some time so let's configure the postman as well this postman got restarted because of some update so it will take its sweet time let me quickly check the uh, the url that is the path that is sf query that should be good let's check the console once again so deployed uh, domain project as well as the default so we are good salesforce demo application is deployed with this domain project i will clear up the console and will make a hit so you can see some records are coming up in the uh, response i have logged it in over here as well but uh, let's do one thing let's copy paste this guy and put this in a uh, text editor now in order to make a count how many uh, contacts are being retrieved uh, i am going to make a count on name because name is getting repeated in every contact list i will make a find all and you can see that there are 20 nodes are being uh, identified with this particular setting and the same thing can also be confirmed from the uh, from the contacts page of login uh, salesforce.com select all contacts so i can see there are 20 records are uh, being there with one of the uh, entries with tom replay so let's see if we are having tom replay over here or not yeah here it goes mr replay is there 
so this was a very brief and very simple uh, use case which i have tried to cover just to make sure we are able to connect to salesforce using the basic uh, username and password and any any user who is very new to the salesforce he or she should also be able to connect uh, from integration perspective salesforce is itself a different field altogether and ideally um, it is being expected like uh, since milsoft is also being acquired so um, a milsoft developer should also have a good understanding about the uh, different salesforce objects so that's why uh, i thought of um, creating a playlist around it and uh, to spread the knowledge i hope you like this video and uh, Thanks for watching and I will be covering more uh, methods of connecting to the uh, login.salesforce.com. Uh, really appreciate your time. Thank you.